talked about how Miles and TJ have helped you guys on defense this year, but you know, in the last month or, or this month, you guys have been top ten in the league in defense. Well, have you guys changed anything on the end of the floor? Or is it just all clicking on that? Where, where have you seen the biggest jump on the defensive side? Well, as, as as the season goes along and we continue to work on it, um, we've made some gradual improvements. That's good. Um, you know, I mean, to be completely frank, we've had we've had a favorable stretch of schedule with good spacing. We've caught some teams on back to backs. But those things help. Um, as the schedule gets busier, this this will become more challenging. And uh, you know, I mean, look. Minnesota is, you know, they, they, they're a super talented team, you know, with Edwards and Towns, um, you know, and, uh, and Russell, they got, a, they got three guys that are really dynamic. And, you know, we're, we're going to have our hands full, you know, for the next, really, the next two weeks, these two games, and then going into this trip. So, um, it will test our defense. I do. I do like the fact that we we've gotten better, you know. And uh, but uh, and it's and it's not just Miles and TJ. You know, other guys have stepped up. Have stepped up their presence within the system. You know, de a defensive system is a. It's just a. Just a series of battles within the system, every time down. And uh, you know, we just got to continue to take on those battles. What have you guys been hoping to see or excited about with Terry playing with the Madden's these last couple days? Well, just trying to get him a chance to play. You know, um, we uh, we watched the game today over there, and he was dominant, and it's pretty easy to see, you know, why why he was so dominant last year, and, and that's why he's in the NBA now. But this is a good tool for him to keep his keep his conditioning, keep a, keep an edge. Um, but we got to have him ready to play for us too, you know. So, um, but he played well today for sure. Everything okay with Isaiah? Uh, Isaiah's got a uh, landed funny when he get tested at three at the end of the game. So he's uh, I think it's his left foot, left foot. Yeah, I think it's his left foot. And he just, uh, he didn't practice today. We're gonna get it looked at a little more closely. Um, obviously hope it's not serious, but he's feeling something and get it checked out and see what's what. Go back to his question about defense. You, you know, guys that are doing better within the system. Who are some of those guys? Who, who have you been particularly impressed with in terms of just their, you know, better understanding or, or better execution within the system beyond said TJ and Miles. Yeah, I, I see I see everybody getting getting better with it. Um, and you know our big emphasis is the paint. And so, you know, I, I know our not our paint numbers are good. Um, you know, the teams have shot the three well against us. But when you make a commitment to the paint, you've got to make a commitment to the paint. And then you've got to get better with closeouts off of your commitment to the paint. And so that's what we've uh, tried to do. And uh, that's what we're going to continue to work at. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, a good, it's a really good group of guys because they know the game. When someone makes a mistake, you know, they help correct it. You know, and when the when the players are part of the solution process, it it, it really it ramps up the accountability. You know, so and you know we're we're as coaches we're looking at everything all the time too. So, but uh, we've had a good stretch here of whatever it is, ten games, and you know, we'll try to make it eleven tomorrow. But uh, but tomorrow's going to be it's going to get tougher tomorrow for sure. another game where the bench outscored the opposition and it's different bench guys I think every single game but there's a little bit of a theme there what's what's been the, the reason for it uh you know when you start on the bench you kind of see what what the team needs you know where you could fit in and what you could do to help out and um, I think everyone coming off the bench has that mindset you know we know 
ways that we could turn it around or keep up what the, the starting group is doing. And um, usually they leave, they leave us to go out there and do what we have to do because they set the tone. So it's up to us to just keep it up. And I feel like everyone knows that coming in uh, off the bench. It was a better start last night, but there also has been a little theme of the slow starts and the bench to the rescue. Mm -hmm. You take some pride in being a part of that group that gets the team back uh, in the game. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you want to do what you can to, to get the team over the hump. Um, but like you said, yesterday was a good start, and I think that's how it's going to be uh, going on from now on. What do you feel like has ignited your group recently? It feels like you've had a couple bigger scoring games in a row. Um, just playing with one another, playing for one another. Um, that's a big part of it, you know, really relying on, on what we do best and, you know, getting out there and, and sticking to that. Um, sticking to our principles and being disciplined, you know, something that our coach has been talking about a lot, you know, every game. Um, not forgetting who we are, what's got us to this point. Uh, winning, you know, being a winning team right now, and uh, we just got to keep going with that. What have you seen as the biggest factors in the team's defensive growth from the start of the season to now? Uh, you know, like I said, just trusting each other. Honestly, um, that's where it starts, knowing that we have each other's back. Um, you know, it's hard to guard in the NBA. These guys are tough, very skilled players. Um, but, you know, that's why we know it's a, it's a team sport. We know it's going to take all five of us to guard, you know, really one person or their key guy. And um, I think we're doing a great job of that. One thing that Rick said over and over again is that, that it's really hard to guard, you know, get really into a possession-by-possession possession mindset when you're playing as fast as you guys For are. For sure. What, what's that sort of take, I guess? So what's kind of the you know, process of getting used to playing that fast and then having to get back and, you know, get down and grind on defense? Um, honestly, playing free. You know, really trusting what, what we do and trusting how good we are and um, being able to, to know that it's, it's really fun playing like that. And I think that's what everyone is um, – rolling with with having TJ or Andrew or Ben out there being able to push the ball and score. Uh, we're playing really free, we're playing for each other, and uh, that's what's making it fun and making us want to play harder on the defensive end. What, uh, I think one thing Rick said is just the, 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 the defending the paint numbers have gotten better. What, what do you think guys are, have become good at in terms of just keeping the ball out of there and making it tough for them to get looks at the rim? Uh, Miles Turner. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the answer to that one. But there's more than that, though. Uh, I think Miles obviously is great at the rim, but there's other guys that are keeping the ball out of it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, we're, we're doing a better job of uh, helping each other, being in our shifts and um, stunting and doing the things that, you know, really uh, win games that don't really show up on the stat sheet. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, we got the best player in the, in the world to pretend the basket down there. Um, so that really helps, obviously. To that point, there was a perception in years past that that was the emphasis defensively was to funnel people to the paint so we could block shots. Mm -hmm. But it does seem like there is a different emphasis to keep them out of the paint before that even happens this year. Is that accurate? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, uh, we want to make Miles' job easier, you know, because we know if we were to mess up or anything, he helps us back there. But, you know, it's, it's tough to funnel guys down there because, again, people are very a uh, athletic and skilled being able to finish around. Um, so yeah, taking pride, uh, guarding your yard, and helping each other out on, on the perimeter is definitely um, something that you know we, we hold high. Rick, Rick just mentioned the competition is going to pick up a little bit moving forward. What's your what's your take on the Timberwolves? Um, great team, very athletic, very skilled, very talented, top to bottom. You know, their guys come off the bench to really score and, and, and do what they have to do. Um, but it's really just going to be about us. You know, what's got us to this point? Uh, we're going to have to go against. Like you said, uh, a lot better teams, but we have to stick down, uh, stay down and do what we do best. You're in year three with TJ. What stood out to you more, the lefty scoop over Bull Bull uh, or the three threes? The lefty scoop, that's crazy. Not many people score over Bull Bull. He's a tall dude. But the lefty was crazy. The lefty was wild. It's tough. Uh, pretty much, I mean, it's a young team, you know. I mean, regardless of a few guys, you know, we got a couple of old heads on the team. But, uh, it, like, we, we know anybody can go up at any point at any time. So it's, it's, it's nothing special out of the ordinary for us because, we, I mean, we are NBA players and we know what each other can do. So there's no surprise when somebody steps up with one game where they may step up a whole stretch of the game. It's, it's common for us. Does it seem like Tyrese does a good job of keeping everyone involved? I mean, it's almost he's going to find the open guy, but he makes sure everyone gets a shot. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what being a leader is. You know, Tyrese, we, we go as Tyrese go. And uh, pretty much he just he's the glue fire team, you know. He's the one that keeps us. He's the one that leads us and we, we follow him to the end. How do you think this group's uh, improving defensively? What, what do you think? Where are you seeing, I guess, improvement kind of across the board there? Uh, I see that there's obviously there's more of a want to play defense. You know, I mean, it's, defense is kind of a cliche thing in this league. Most people see like, oh, you see a lot of perennial all stars and they don't play defense. But I feel as though that this this that's an identity that we can build 
uh, just being a team that want to play defense, that want to lock down for the, the 24 second shot clock and getting stopped, and pretty much just allowing that to push towards our offense. One thing you, Rick said is it's really hard to go from playing as fast as you guys do on offense and getting back and, and being in sort of this possession by possession grinded out mindset on defense. Mm -hmm. well, what does that take? What have you guys learned about how to do that? Uh, pretty much, it's just you just gotta have that want to do it. You know, you gotta have that want, to, like I said, to lock in for that 24 seconds and pretty much try to get a stop and try to stop that team from even getting a shot up or getting a second chance shot, and then pretty much locking into the game plan and making sure that you're paying attention to every details and just out there doing your best, even if it's just talking loud, making sure that you're having an effect on the defensive end. Obviously, you and Miles are a big part of this. Miles, in particular, being able to block shots at the rim. But what's, what do you think's made you guys better at keeping the ball out of the paint to start with? Uh, pretty much, you know, I mean, just that awareness for Miles, you know. I mean, he has that reputation of being one of the best shot blockers in the league, and that obviously that, that deters a lot of teams for coming into the paint because, you know, I mean, obviously, you no know, Miles is there, and then obviously I do my fair share of blocking as well. So it's just, it, it go hand in hand with each other, you know, just making, getting that, I don't want to say fear, but just that, that, that alertness to not coming into the paint. Minnesota's got some bigs with Towns, Gobert, even Edwards to an extent. What do you see as the challenge to your front court? Uh, pretty much just taking the challenge head on, you know. I mean, we know what Carl Towns can do. We know what can Gobert can do. We know what Anthony Edwards can do. Just pretty much locking into the game plan, executing to the scout that the coaches have for us, and pretty much just giving a fight. Different level of players, but Orlando was as big as any team we've seen with who they put on the court. Can that be a good preparation for this matchup? I mean, yeah, most definitely, but I mean, you know, obviously, Conley Towns, he's a whole different player. And Rudy Gobert is a whole different monster as well. So we just got to pretty much play the how the coaches want us to play, you know, and then also getting in the way of them as well, just trying to stop them as best as we can. You cracked a smile when you said the old head. So are you talking Buddy, Miles, TJ? <laughs> they know who they are. They know who they are. I would say that. Well, whoever yeah. they is, how much have they helped get this team to where it is right now? Uh, they helped us a lot, you know. I mean, obviously, we a lot of veteran leadership, a lot of experience in the league, and obviously, one of those guys being James is him just coming in and helping out everybody, all the young guys, giving everybody encouragement because he's been around the league the most, so and he know, he's experienced the most in the league, so pretty much he's lending a hand to everybody who needs help, and that's just something that we're thankful for. Has he pulled you aside on numerous occasions and given you pointers from things he's experienced? Oh yeah, all the time. I mean, James talks to me all the time, uh, pretty much what he sees or what he feels or what can help me and just pretty much how to read the game and things like that.